Welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics, and today we have a really interesting equation x to the 6th power equal to x minus 1 to the 6th power. In this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we solve this correctly and step by step. First of all, let's rewrite this challenge, so we have, we have right here x to the 6th power equal to x minus 1 to the 6th power. It is our challenge. And right here I suggest you a really great approach. So let's write this x to the 6th power as x cube square, okay? So let's write it as x cube to the second power, okay? So on the left hand side. And let's do the same thing with the right hand side. So let's write right here as and this x minus 1 to the 6th power as x minus 1 cube and all squared, okay? So what do we have right here? We have these brackets and we have x minus 1, x minus 1 to the third power, yeah? And all squared all squared. Right now I suggest you to bring this expression from left hand side from right hand side to left hand side. So what do we have right now? We have we have right here x cube squared and we subtract from here this expression. So we have this type of brackets. We have x minus 1 cube and all squared equal to equal to 0. If you look closely, what do we have right now? Right now we have a difference of squares, right here we have this looks like our a, for example, this is looks like our b, so we have a formula a minus b square. I don't want to write this formula because this is all known formula, a, a plus b times a minus b. So let's do the thing right here, so parentheses, yeah? So right here we have parentheses and let's write it. So we have the first step, a square minus b square, this is a plus b times a minus b. So in the first parentheses we have x cube, yeah, this a minus, or let's start with plus, so plus x minus 1 cube, so x minus 1 cube, this is our first parenthesis, and we multiply all of these by the subtraction, okay, if there are here addition, so multiply by subtraction, so we have x cube minus x minus 1, x minus 1 cube, and equal to equal to zero. Right now let's simplify a little bit our expression. So what do we have right here? We have right here the sum of cubes. Right here we have a difference of cubes. So we can easily write this formula. So let's start for example with, with addition. Yeah. So we have a cube, our first formula a cube plus b cube. Okay, our first formula equal to, I want to write it for you. So we have a plus b, yeah, a plus b. And times we have a square minus a b plus b square. Okay, a square minus a b and plus b square. Okay, this is our, our formula sum of cubes, of two cubes. Let's continue, let's write the second formula because we need it. Right here we need a sum of two cubes, right here we need a difference of two cubes. So we have right here a cube minus b cube. Okay, this is equal to. So maybe it is completely the same but with a little bit differences. Right here we have a minus b, yeah, a minus b. And in the second parenthesis, we have all addition, okay? So we have a square plus a b and plus b square, okay? Plus b square. Okay, right now let's apply this formula. We really need this formula right here in our challenge. So we have we have two cases, the sum of two cubes and a different of two cubes. Uh, first of all, let's apply the sum of two cubes right here and the difference of two cubes let's apply right here in this second, uh, second parenthesis, okay? So let's do this. Let's do this. In the first parenthesis, sum of two cubes, we have right here our formula. So we have the first parenthesis, we have x plus x minus 1, so x plus x minus 1. Yeah. In the second parenthesis, we have this expression a square minus ab plus b square. So as a result, we have x square minus x times x minus 1 times x minus 1 and plus x minus 1 square. x minus 1 square. And I don't have enough space to write the second parenthesis of this one. Okay, so I want to write right here multiplication sign and the second parenthesis is this one, okay? So I want to write this right here on the bottom, okay? So we hope you understand this. We have x, x minus x minus 1, so completely the same signs, x minus 1, and the second parenthesis, we have x square plus x, x square, so absolutely the same but with, but with addition, okay? So plus x times x minus 1, times x minus 1, and plus x minus 1 square, plus x minus 1, squared. 
Okay, so we have two parentheses, this parentheses and this parentheses. So let's simplify this a little bit. So let's start with this left hand side. First of all, x plus x minus one gives us, so I want to separate this, uh, this uh, solution right here. Okay, so let's start with this first parentheses. In first parentheses, we have x plus x is 2x, so 2x minus one in first parentheses. Second parentheses, x square, oh, okay, let's simplify this a little bit right here. Okay, so let those this. So we have x square, okay, x square minus x square and plus x. Okay, and then plus our formula. Okay, plus x square. So we have x square minus 2x and plus 1. Okay, this is our left, left parenthesis. Let's multiply this parenthesis by the second parenthesis. So what do we have right here? We have x minus x minus 1 gives us only, only 1. And the second parenthesis in this in this expression, so we have x square, okay, so we have x square plus x plus x square minus x and plus formula x square minus 2x, yeah, x square minus 2x and plus 1, okay, okay. So right here, let's write these parentheses at first. I want to separate this, uh, this for you, okay, so let's do this right here. So we have and the first parenthesis 2x minus 1. The second parenthesis right here we can easily cancel x square and x square. So we have only x square minus x and plus 1. So x square minus x and plus 1. In the next parenthesis what do we have right here? We have right here 1 only, so 1. And the last parenthesis x square x square x square give us 3x square, so 3x square. Then we have right here x square plus x square. Yeah, we completed it. So minus x minus 2x. This is our minus 3x. And right here we have plus 1. Okay, and plus and plus 1. As you can see, we factor in our we factor in our challenge. So we have right now one parenthesis, second, third, and the fourth parenthesis. So right now, the final step, let's solve this challenge. So right here, this of course equal to zero. Yeah, we, we can't forget about it. This is equal to equal to zero. So we can easily start with this first parenthesis. First parenthesis 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 equal to zero. Yeah. And from here x is equal to x is equal to one half. This is our first solution x first equal to one half. We completed this challenge. We solve we solve this challenge at first. So x equal to one half. Second parenthesis, x square minus x plus one equal to zero. Let's solve this challenge. Uh, let's solve this expression right here. So x square minus x plus one equal to equal to zero. Okay. Okay. Discriminant, discriminant equal to b square minus four ac. So we have one minus four times one and times and times one. Okay, which gives us, I guess, right here we have minus minus three. So as a result, we can write our our second and uh, third root. So right here we have x second and third, which is equal to minus b. We have one plus minus plus minus square root of square root of minus three. Yeah, and over over two, which gives us our answer right here because this is our complex unit. So we can write it as one plus minus. Uh, square root of 1 times square root of 3 and all over, all over, all over 2. And I can easily write our answer. So 1 plus minus i square root of 3 over, over 2. Okay, this is our second and third root. Okay, we find our second and third root. Let's go to the last parenthesis. Right here we have our last parenthesis, 3x square minus 3x plus 1. Let's solve this. Let's solve this challenge right here. So our discriminant we have right here 3x square minus 3x and plus 1 equal to equal to 0. So let's solve our last, last parenthesis. So we have discriminant equal to, we have b square, we have 9 minus 4 times 3 and times times 1 which is equal to, okay, which is equal to 9 minus 12, we have minus 3. So the same discriminant as right here. So let's write our, our x, uh, fourths and fifths. So we have x, fourths and fifths, which is equal to, which is equal to, we have minus b, we have 3, plus minus square root of minus 3, and all over to a, we have, we have right here 6. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this a little bit. So right here we can write this minus 3 in the same way. So i times square root of 3. 
So we have equal to 3 plus minus i square root of 3 and all over all over 6. Okay, which is equal to, let's divide uh, all the thing by, by 6, so 3 times 6 and this expression by 6. So we have right here 1, 1 half plus minus plus minus i square root of 3 over 6. And if you multiply this expression right here by square root of 3, so right here by square root of 3 and right here by square root of 3, so we multiply by, by this expression, so we have 3 and 3 right here, so we have square root of 3, square root of 3 gives us 3, and with this 6 we can easily cancel, so we have 2 on in our denominator with this square root of 3. So we have right here, we have right here our, our answer, we have right here our 1 half, plus minus i over 2 square root of 3. Okay, let's write our full solution to this challenge right here on the bottom. So let's write our answer right here, okay? So let's write it, our answer, our answer, x first equal to 1 half, equal to 1 half, x second and third, okay? Let's write this one, x second and third, x second and third e gives us 1 plus i square root of 3 over 2 and the last step we have x x fourth and fifths x fourth and fifths gives us right here 1 half plus minus i over 2 square root of 3 okay this is our answer to this challenge right here okay right here we have our we have our answer so I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, and why this is challenge, why this solution is great, because we find all roots right here. Uh, there is another approach with with, uh, with square root, with 6 root of 6, okay, uh, where you can find only one root, where you can find only this x equal to 1 half. With this solution you can find all roots without any problem, so I hope you understand this explanation and I hope you learn something new. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and see you in the next videos.